Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. We have someone that may be working really hard to... I don't know what this person is working really hard to do to stop some type of uh, plan from being executed. Whether this is someone coming towards an empress to work with them. There's someone behind the scenes that's still doing something to block you from being able to give to an empress. I don't know how you're intending on giving to this person, whether it's a friendship, a partnership, business. I don't know, sir. I really don't care. You all have me worn out. As you can see, you're going to have to figure out your mess. But let's go ahead. You are moving on with your life or trying to move on and they are trying to stop you. And you're trying to figure out how to get the heck away from these people because you want to build a ten of pentacles or you see a ten of pentacles somewhere. I'm telling you, you're trying to balance the situation out. They're trying to block destiny from taking place. They're trying to block the wheel of fortune from moving. You know that wheel is always moving. If they can stop the wheel from moving, then we're all going to be out of here. Like we're all going night night. Are we ready to go night-night? Nah, everybody ain't ready to go night-night. If these people can figure out how to stop the wheel of fortune from moving forward, let us know. Give us a forewarning because we don't want to um, be unprepared. Because that means you're taking us up out of here. And I don't think we told you all that we wanted to be out of here yet. Okay? These people are living in fear because something will be balanced out. There's a man that's very determined to, to move forward. And there's a feminine energy that's very determined and focused on their work and moving forward. Your discipline is a bother to these people because they're doing everything behind the scenes to distract you, right? They're trying to do anything and everything to take you out, trap you, bind you, cause you a lot of conflict and confusion. They want you trapped in, their, in your mind, but it looks like it's happening to them. Okay, these people are going through some type of karma. For someone out there, your twin flame may have been sent towards you to unalive you or something like that. It didn't go according to plan. I don't know if they changed their mind or there was some type of barrier. There's been a couple of people being sent to take you out. Yeah, it's been a couple of people being sent to take you out. But there's something where your ancestors are stepping in and bringing balance into the situation. Whatever blockages these people have been causing... The universe is stepping in to return the favor, return to sender. So these people are going through karma. They're trapped in some type of situation, going through financial like and insecurities. There's a woman in a community that's losing some type of abundance. Her her finances, this could be someone that's of high honor, being pretended to be someone of high honor, someone with morals and respect, but she's being exposed as the, quite the opposite. Will be losing everything. There's some type of transfer of wealth going on. While she's falling from grace, you, the Queen of Cups, you're about to be uh, ascending, elevating in life, going through your elevation, right? Your growth, uh, manifesting some type of new reality for yourself. This came out sideways, so there could be some type of confusion going with going on within a family dynamic, and it doesn't have to be blood relatives. It could be like a surrogate family, maybe an institution that's fighting, but there's something where it's like a woman within an institution or a family dynamic, maybe it's being excommunicated, okay? Uh, these people are going through blockages because the truth is out. They're not able to block the truth anymore. They're not able to hide the truth. Maybe they're choosing to tell the truth. They're choosing to confess because there's something that just still is moving forward. It's like they tried to stop something, hide something. But it's like this collaboration is not hitting anymore. People may be really depressed behind the scenes. But whatever this truth is that's coming out is going to help a lot of people move on with their lives. So I... It'll, it's it's, it's going to help you all in this chapter so you can find fulfillment in life. Start some type of new beginnings for yourself and have a brand new outlook on life. Maybe you all are trying to turn a new lead. You're more hopeful now in life or something like that, right? You all may be telling the truth now about what you did to a queen of wands um, that's in the upright. Maybe you all got together and collaborated against this woman try to end her, try to take her out, sabotage her many, many times or something like that with that tennis source above her. You all tried to sabotage this woman or you sabotaged her many, many times to have her trapped in some type of horrendous situation. And now, you know, maybe things are turning around and you all are choosing to do the right thing or fix something. It could be someone confessing or a group that's confessing. Maybe the head of an organization, they are trying to fix something or balance something out or just get a clearer understanding. There may be some type of internal investigation going on. If this Queen of Wands 
Because what I'm picking up, there's also a king, a king of wands, I mean, a queen of wands reverse in a community. Um, there's been hiring people, partnering up with people in order to do you something, like worker, to do you something divine feminine. Uh, it could be that these men don't want to work with this woman anymore. Uh, they're trying to bind this king of wands from taking action. They're trying to manipulate his emotions. They want him trapped in some type of horrendous situation. So I just heard something about black male. They could be trying to black male this man. I don't know if he has a male lover on the side. I don't know because I see the four of pentacles out here, which can also have to do with toxic relationship. So I don't know if that's what it is. It could also just be... It's not a black male. This man just feels trapped in some type of reality he does not want to be in. Maybe he binded himself to these people and he's trying to find a way to get out of there. Uh, you have a king of cups. Also, there's in some type of unhappy relationship. Uh, someone got married to the wrong person for the wrong reasons. Maybe he thought someone was financially abundant or he was going to be financially abundant and it turned out there is no money. There never was any money. Now he wants to move on, but where does he go? He don't know, okay? Someone is living in a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. Uh, I don't know what to tell them, but you know, it is what it is. You make your bed, gotta lay in it. We all gotta lay in that bed that we make. They're going through endings. There's some type of plan that's like, I don't know if it's a one plan, two plan, three plans, but... Whatever this King of Cups has been doing behind the scenes, it is something that's backfiring on this man. He's under judgment. He may end up confessing, uh, but whatever it is he's been doing behind the scenes, especially when it comes to someone's resources, uh, someone's finances, someone's income, maybe someone is in some type of self time out. Like he's putting himself in time out to kind of contemplate on what it is he's been doing why he's doing it and why he needs to stop doing it and maybe balance something out. He may be under some type of judgment, may want to come towards you to ask you for forgiveness or something like that. But the whole family may be going through some type of revelation, okay? As far as seeing things from a different perspective, trying to heal something, maybe trying to balance a whole situation out with the wheel of fortune out here followed by the ace of swords. There's some type of destiny playing out and the destiny has to do with some type of truth confession uh honesty some type of new beginning something being changed there's some type of institution going through a change as well right maybe they're taking out the bad nuts and trying to rebrand the institution maybe they're trying to rebrand the family uh bring back that family dynamic into the institution or something like that um so i don't know what this is but hopefully it's headed in the right direction if they've been trying to hold on to a king of wands you can't do that. Some people have free will to go. Yeah, he's moving on to leave and live as they please, just like you do. But there's a cycle, queen of wands, reverse within, within an institution that just does not understand that concept. Someone does not have two senses to rub together. She wants to keep going with something and she's going through some type of ending. Oh, she's going through some type of harm on getting a taste of her own medicine. Uh, I guess I think a whole institution may be tired of this woman and she don't know it. So they're taking the the, 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 the action, the right actions to balance this madam out, this missus out. They're done. These two men may not even be wanting to work with this woman anymore. She may be trying to get them to do something and they're telling her no. Maybe she's blackmailing them that if they, they don't do something, she's going to expose them or something or she's she has them bind that to a contract and they have to do what it is that she's telling them to they don't care these men may end up saying that we're just going to go ahead and tell on ourselves we don't care what it is you do because at the end of the day they more than likely have more on her than she has on them so I, if i was her i would throw out with caution oh yeah she ain't happy sis is not happy Especially with the fact that you are still working and still moving towards this Ace of Pentacles and she done did everything to try to stop you, went even to a professional to block you from having a new beginning, right? May have even contacted a, a, a higher fent, the head of an organization, to work with them so that it could stop you. Maybe she tried to manipulate a, a higher fent and he ain't going for it. Maybe it's a higher fent that's in the upright. But sis is having a hard time finding people to work with her because they're seeing her for who she is. Oh, they're seeing her for who she is. There's an emperor she's trying to manipulate. Maybe that emperor don't got time. He said, I don't got time for you and your raggedy behind today, tomorrow, or any day. I'm going to need you to leave my premises. <laughs> he has full awareness of what is going on. 
Some of these people may know this woman is headed right to poverty. Maybe she's the only one that's in denial and wants to keep going. But there's a tower that's coming up. People are thinking now about this situation. Oh, man. The fact that people are self-actualizing is like a catastrophic event for this woman. This is someone that does not like for people to self-actualize. It bothers her. Because if you self-actualize around this woman, you're going to see her for who she is. You're going to know she's nothing but a joke. You're not going to take her serious. But someone, there's a group of people that are doing the right thing when it comes to a queen of wands. Whether it's the one in the opera or the one in the reverse. They're sick and tired of the one in the reverse. And they're balancing the situation out. They want to move on. These people are very heartbroken and disappointed and want to end this chapter. Some type of chapter has been going on for too long. There's a masculine that's leaving this community. So you need to ali, 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 vit, 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 vit. Go, 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 fast, 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 fast. You're, there's something they're plotting on you. There's a sector of this community that's plotting on you. And you want to keep sitting there looking like a fat, juicy duck. That very sector, they love duck. So you just keep sitting there. You're about to be out here looking real interesting. Real interesting. They love duck. It said duck is good. Duck is greasy. Duck is juicy. <laughs> you are fat, fat duck. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The whole family, I don't know what the, I don't know what, uh, if it's a family, an institution, whatever this is. But these people are trying to turn things around. But there's still one person in here and all the people behind the scenes with her, a couple of people. And once the rest of the community find out who the rest of those people are, they're going to be plugging them out. Like, oh, you're in the wrong place. Oh, you're in the wrong place. Oh, you're in the wrong place. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to show you where you need to go. The exit. That door right there. Yeah, we're going to need you to step right out that door because we are fixing things up around here. It's a brand new day. We want an actual Ten of Cups where people actually like each other. They're actually supporting each other. Uh, we want an actual Ten of Pentacles that's going to be lasting because we want to be in a thriving community. Communities like these that don't thrive is because of these bad, bad nuts that are in there. The ones that feel like they should be able to tell people what to do. They should be able to control the narrative, even if it's a lie. If they do something wrong that's you know going to lead to problems for other people, they still want you to stay hush. They don't want you to say nothing. It's a, you, I could lose my job, and you want me to stay quiet because of what? Because you're the boss? Nah, I'm not about to get arrested for your behind. Listen, 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 Linda. I ain't signing no forgery document with you. Nah, 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 nah. If he says she can have that money, she can have it. If he said he can have that money, he can have it. I'm not going to jail for you. Some of oh, baby Linda's about to be out here real mad because this chapter is over. It, people are walking away from Linda. Is Emperor determined to get away from Linda? He don't make his decision to be practical about the situation. This could be a king of king of pentacles that is controlling the situation and his strength. Baby, it got Linda bothered because Linda has been working all time. And t when Linda has worked 40 hours, her, her average 40 hours plus some. Linda is working 80 hours a week trying to manipulate this emperor not to do something, not to stand his ground, not to defend someone, not to stay single and content. Nah, he it has the full-blown truth, Linda. He ain't playing with you and your nonsense. Okay, he is leaving y'all behind in the cold and moving forward in victory to start a whole new chapter, going through a rebirth. And when he goes through his rebirth, he's coming out a lot better. It ain't going to be an easy one, but it'll be a fruitful one. <laughs> when you've done the work, Linda, girl, I don't know what to tell you, but these people are saying you're going to have to leave. They say you got to move on, you got to leave, and you're going to have to go figure things out. Go start fresh somewhere else. But as far as your relationship with this institution, it's over. It's over. It's over now, Linda. <laughs> you all have been working real hard to complicate something. Complicate life for a queen of wands. Just complicate life for this person for no reason. And then the, the ten of cups is out here, which means this person could have a family, children. You didn't care about none of that. You didn't care about no, You're heartless as heck. Heartless. You say you are going to get a position one way or the other. 
They say you ain't getting that position. And even if you do, it's not going to be staying. You're going to lose it. But I don't know what to tell you, Linda. You're trying to force things to go your way. You want a yes from the higher us for that position. You're hopeful. Listen, they'll do what it is they want to do. I don't know if you're in limbo right now trying to figure out what it is they've decided. Girl, they'll, they'll figure it out. They'll tell you what it is if they want to give it to you or not. And they'll find out real quick that they don't act up royally putting you in that position. Oh, yeah. They don't they don't know about you, honey. They don't know about you. They don't know about you. Dang. There's a lot of people going through disappointments, regret, all kinds of stuff. And it's all unnecessary because this is something that could have been... Listen, y'all been watching this channel for freaking, what, months now? You keep coming to my channel. Maybe that's why I'm picking up. Or maybe you got people watching. We've been telling you all to stop doing something. Why ain't y'all listening? Now you're stuck in some type of horrendous contract. Don't bond yourself to a nutcase of a woman named Linda somewhere in the world. <laughs> this is all for entertainment purposes, sir. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Listen. You can't control destiny. It's called destiny for a reason. All you can do is focus on your path. However amount of money is on the line, destiny does not care about any of that. I.e. the universe does not care about any of that. Okay? They don't care. All they care about is there's a contract in place and that contract needs to be fulfilled. So if both parties are still committed to their contract, the contract is going to be fulfilled. And no, you manipulating somebody's will so that they're not committed to their contract is not going to stop the contract from taking place. Someone has to wholeheartedly decide that he does not want to fulfill a contract or she does not want to fulfill a contract, a sole contract. Like they have to make that decision off of their free will in order for the contract to be void. That's when they say, tap out. I tap out. I'm not going to be fulfilling my contract with this high priestess, empress energy. I'm not going to be fulfilling my contract with this king of wands, king of swords energy. I'm going to stay in Karmicville where people are manipulating me and playing games with me. So if they voluntarily decide that, then yeah, the contract is void. But you are manipulating someone to get them to forfeit a contract, their destiny, that's not how it works. It may last a, a little bit, but at the end of the day, those two suckers are going to come together and work together. Whatever they're meant to do together is going to happen. It's going to happen, folks. It's going to happen. Okay? You can't control destiny. There's something where it's like that in between time. That's when a lot of people, they tend to think they have like a power. They're in control of the situation. We've blocked these two from coming together. You didn't block nothing. There's a reason why this time, this in-between time is happening because there's something that needs to be exposed. There's some type of growth someone needs to go through within the contract or both of them, especially with this King of Wands, King of Cups coming out in reverse. There's some type of growth that's needed on his part. And you're still out here trying to sabotage your Queen of Wands upright. I don't know what... Listen, I... I, I I don't know how else to say that. I'm tired. Je suis fatigué. I'm tired. I am tired. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. You people have... It's like you guys are like a bunch of kids. <laughs> you know, like when you're one of those kindergarten teachers, I don't know how they do it. When those kids are going all rah, 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 yelling because someone took their piece of paper... Someone's using the red crayon, something like that. And that poor kindergarten teacher just feels worn out, just second guessing. It's like, do I even want to come to work tomorrow? Yeah, you do. You love your job. It's one of those. I'm tired, folks. Get your acts together. Get your acts together. This is what... You're having a whole practitioner change, though. Kind of different issue to do it because... You know, wore her out. I'm tired. I swear, I don't tire. I don't tire. Well, well, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh my gosh, the laughing you make laughing no more. 
The humor is not even humoring no more because we're all tired. Me, my humor, my ancestors, we're all tired to a few people. <laughs> Shy. Shy. This skin of cuss reverse. I keep hearing that he may have a crush on a king on this king of wands. I don't know what this is. Because my previous reading, they came out together again with the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if they're in some type of secret relationship. I don't know what they say. Maybe the King of Cups has a crush on him. He don't know. Or maybe he's choosing not to be that. Maybe he's delivered now. I don't know, honey. I'm trying to add a little bit of humor, but I really don't know. And I don't care. I really don't care, folks. What you want to do, who you want to do, I don't care. Leave me alone. <laughs> I want to be happy. <laughs> I'm happy. You're sad. I don't want your sadness. Okay? Let me be happy. Please. Get off my channel. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a privileged lady under judgment. I'm a privileged lady under judgment. You all don't want and dismantle someone's foundation, took their resources, their money, and everything, and their ancestors are stepping in to protect them and say, hey, we got you, honey. We got you. We got you. It'll be sorted out. And they're putting them right into a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy. After you don't destroy everything that someone tried to build. There's a woman, this king, Queen of Wands, reversed in a relationship, uh, not a relationship, in a uh, institution, just so jealous. This level of jealousy is alarming. It's scary. You know, like those Lifetime movies, the, those kind of psycho, the, the psycho best friend or the psycho woman that you don't know that's jealous of you, your life and everything in it, but don't know how you went about getting that life, how hard you worked to get it. But she just know you shouldn't be living so happy. It's one of those. She's a psycho sociopathic narcissist. That's who this woman is. But folks, I got to get up out of this energy. You're draining me. I'm going to go eat some vegetables, something, some white rice to get back my energy, drink some water, whatever. Whatever I can do, but anything but this. Anything but you people. Oh, I will be so happy when I don't got to touch on you all anymore. Why? <laughs> Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next exhausting episode of Carmenville at it again. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.